So after you have went ahead and ran all of these things, Aerodome will now monitor only the target network allowing us to capture more specific information about it. So what we are really doing now is waiting for a device to connect or reconnect to the network, forcing the router to send out the 4-way handshake that we need to capture in order to crack the password. Also, 4 files should show up on your desktop and this is where the handshake will be saved when captured. And make sure that you don't delete them else again, else you will have to go and capture them again. But we are not actually going to wait for a device to connect. No, that's not what impatient hackers do and we are impatient hackers. So we are actually going to go ahead and use another cool tool that belongs to the aircrack suit that is called as Airplay NG to speed up the process. And instead of waiting uh, for a device to connect, hackers use this tool to force a device to reconnect by sending a deauthentication packet to the device making it think that it has to reconnect with the router. Of course in order for this to tool to work, there must be someone else other than you, or I know that you are not connected, but there must be someone else, at least one party uh, that must be connected to the network first. So watch the error up NG and wait for a client to show up. It might take a long time depending upon what time of day it is and who is actually connecting it and if you are around in a corporate area then you will obviously get someone or the other. Or it might take only a second before the first one shows. If none show up after a lengthy wait then the network might be empty row or you are very far away from the network. So if you go ahead and wait then uh, I'll, I'll assume that you have uh, some client in between that has appeared on your network so we'll continue to the next step. So. Now you need to go ahead and keep this uh, specific command running that's aerodump ng and you need to open a second terminal and you need to type something like this air play ng space hyphen zero space two space hyphen a don't worry I'll be explaining this to you what exactly this is over here it would be router bssid over here hyphen c hyphen client bssid mon zero and uh, over here hyphen zero is a shortcut for the deauthorization mode two is the number of deauthorization packets to send hyphen a indicates the access point that is the router's bss id and replace the router's bss id with the bss id of the target network so which in my case over here would be something different that would be this one that's the mac id and bss id and mac id are the same just to be clear and hyphen c would be the uh, it indicates the client's basis ID and uh, you can, that you have noted in the previous picture. Replace the client's basis ID that means the person who has connected to the network and this will be listed under the station. So over here I'll just go ahead and create some random ID again. It will be 00 colon 14 colon um, let's say FG colon CD cd colon I don't know how exactly this works or what is the method as to how exactly this works so I'm just writing any random stuff e008 perfect I believe 66 six. okay perfect and in the end mon0 that is your uh, obviously your monitor interface change it if it's different it's uh, monitor 1 or 2 or whatever it is so this is how exactly the command line will look like Upon hitting enter you will see airplay ng sending the packets and within moments you should see this uh, message appear on the aerodump ng screen. This means that the handshake has been captured, the password is in the hacker's hand and in maybe in some form or the other but you have the password. You only need thing that you need to do is to decrypt the keys. So you can go and close the airplay ng terminal and hit ctrl c on the aerodump terminal over here to go ahead and stop the monitor mode. And uh, but don't close it, it just in case you need some information later on. I have closed it because I have no reason to keep it started because I have not even ran it. So this as of now till now it concludes the part external part of our tutorial. From now on the process entirely between your is you in inside your computer and the four files that on your desktop that is you will get some four files over here in the desktop with period cap extension that is important. So I'll just go ahead and delete all of these things because I have no reason to keep it as it is. So open up a new terminal and type in some the following command which is aircrack ng space hyphen a2 space hyphen b space the router's bss id. So over here I'll just type some random stuff.
uh, e9 perfect and over here i'll just type hyphen w this would be the path to the word list so in our case it would be something like uh, slash root and let's say for example w and the name of my word list would be i'll just go and type word list over here whatever the name of your word list is slash desktop if i have that on the desktop okay let me check uh, okay desktop slash and whatever is the extension of your cap file that you find it over here so what it is going to do is that it's going to crack uh, the uh, mac id just use the mac id to go ahead and crack this word uh, this cap extension with our word list so hyphen a is the method error crack we'll use to crack the handshake uh, a2 is uh, the wpa method that's wpa2 uh, hyphen b stands for the bss id and uh, hyphen w stands for the word list replace the path word list to with the path to your word list that you have downloaded i have the word list called as wpa that's w word list period txt so i'll just type something like txt if it is in my root directory and i will just type space and root slash desktop period cap uh, asterisk period cap is the uh, part to the cap file containing the password and the asterisk means a wildcard in linux since i'm assuming that there are no other cap files on your desktop this should won't work fine uh, the way it is so this is how my complete command line would look like and just in case your word list is in some other directory what i could just i'll just type if it's on the same as desktop i can just type something like this perfect okay sorry uh, i missed out a bit and slash perfect and i don't need p perfect so this is how it should look like in actual scenario and uh, as soon as you hit enter Aircrack ng will now launch into a process of cracking the password however however it will only crack if the password happens to be in the word list that you have selected sometimes it not in case the password is something like azsd12911s47 some random word in case it's that it's it won't be crackable and if this is the case then you can congratulate your owner on being impenetrable of course only after you have tried every uh, word list that a hacker might use or make and cracking the password might take a long time depending on the size of the word list when i tried previously mine went very quickly and the password that i got from my when i cracked previously what a monster at the run fine and the password like m o n s t a r sorry at the rate r and it was hash 159 and if you think that this is a, a tough password it's not it was easily cracked in uh, approximately 15 minutes i believe so the passphrase to test our network was not secure and uh, uh, you can see uh, that Aircrack found it. So if you find the password without a decent struggle, then change your password. So best way to do this would be go ahead and crack your own Wi-Fi setup. And if, if you're penetrating someone else, uh, then tell them to change your password as soon as possible until unless you want them to go ahead and actually get into some kind of trouble. So that would be it for this tutorial from my end for today. And that's how we actually go ahead and crack a Wi-Fi password. And so if you are thinking right now that this is quite easy for someone to go ahead and crack that password, trust me, it is not. So next time if somebody cracks your password, make sure that uh, you will have, you will need to come to know that password cracking or actually Wi-Fi cracking instead is not a process that a noob can do. You need to be a pro. So that is it for this tutorial and the end of wireless cracking. So in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you, uh, maybe teach you about Bluetooth cracking or I'll go on to the next chapter.